If, if you think about society's expectations of us, um, any organisation, society expects us to improve and constantly improve. And if we do have an incident, they expect us to understand why, what's happened, what the underlying causes are, and um, how we will improve so that we will never have an incident again. So, so that's why we have to learn from our incidents. That's why we have to use different methodologies to understand the causality of, um, of the things that are happening at our plants to stop repeat incidents. If you look at the outcomes of the accidents, they all root ridiculously stupid and, 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 and totally unpredictable. So we, we labeled them impossible accidents. But if you looked at the backgrounds of these accidents, they suddenly started to make sense. So if you put people under time pressure, if you give them insufficient amount of sleep, if you give them silly um, sleeping cycles and so on, then, then, then people will err. So rather than looking at the outcomes of accidents, we decided to look for the backgrounds of accidents. And that was something that they found intriguing. Being able to investigate incidents in a structured manner and in a uniform manner, so if all the employees do it in the same way, then you can um, really get to learning from incidents. And learning from incidents means that also you improve your safety.